Hello everyone, my name is Erin Blasky and this is a quick tutorial for Virtual Assistant TV. So this is Eventbrite and Eventbrite is a website that allows you to create events that you can host and invite people to attend via their complete easy registration system. So I'm just going to show you how you can create a new event and um, show you some of the integration that goes along with it. So to, once you have your account set up and created, you just simply go to create a new event and once that opens, you can add your event title and all the other elements that you normally would. So I'm just going to put in my event. You can add ticket information, which we're going to do in a moment. But we'll go ahead and just put my event details. So here you would fill in all the details about your event. Um, there's a rich text editor, so you can make it as pretty as you want. You can upload a logo uh, for the event. St you can state when it starts. So we'll just set a date of July 1st at, let's just say, 3 o'clock. And we'll end it on July 2nd, actually no, July 1st, same day, at 4 o'clock. You can choose your time zone and choose it, uh, make it a, a repeat event if you want to do something like that as well. So as, as for the location, if you're going to be doing this as a virtual event, you can just say your home or office. So this is a great alternative for those clients that you have that may not have a fully automated system. Um, Eventbrite will handle all of your payments for you and it can be connected to PayPal and some other great tools um, as well, which we'll show you. So you can personalize a link. So we'll just put my event test. You can choose an organizer and I've already set myself up as an organizer with my bio. So we'll just go ahead and choose myself. Okay, and when we scroll down, you can see there's all these different templates that you can choose automatically, or you can design it in your own colors, which is very cool as well. We're just going to go ahead and choose Sand. And here's some really cool things. So you can list the event in the Eventbrite public directory and on the internet. I'm going to check this off because this is a test, um, and I don't want it to, to be there. You can also classify and tag your event. Um, that allows you to add keywords to it so it goes right into the, all the internet search engines. You can password protect your event registration page, show the number of tickets remaining, show the attendee list, custom header and footer, and you can also track the registration page using Google Analytics, which is excellent if you use those. So we're just going to go ahead and click on these two and um, we'll just put first and last name. So we're just going to go ahead and save this as a draft for now because we're going to want to go back up to the top and create a ticket. So we click on the create a ticket button and we're going to choose um, my event virtual. We'll just say that. Uh, we'll set a price of $17 for the event and the quantity available will say 50. Now there are some advanced options you can choose. You can start and end sales on specific days. Um, you can have a minimum ticket order and a maximum ticket order. Um, Oh, and then this is really important too. So Eventbrite will charge an, a service fee. Um, however, again, they're handling your payments, so it's, a, it's actually worth it. I usually like to include the Eventbrite, Eventbrite fee into my total ticket price as opposed to adding it. If you add it, your customers pay for it, whereas if you include it, it's coming off of your ticket amount. So just factor that in when you're creating your event. So we'll go ahead and click on Save. And then now we have our ticket. Um, price and once we've got this ready we can actually go ahead and hit preview just to take a look at it now the cool part here is you'll see that it already has the checkout with PayPal you can also view other payment options so if you were doing an in-person event and you want to accept cash or check you can set that up um, but people can add it to their calendar right away and they can also after they've um, actually signed up to get a ticket, they can share it on all their social media sites. So Eventbrite is a perfect solution for those people that may not have a merchant account or a shopping cart, but you still want to track registrations for your events very closely. Eventbrite also connects with MailChimp, so if you're using MailChimp to build your lists, you can export all of your registrants directly to MailChimp and email them from there. And it's got a few other great integrations that you may want to actually take a look at. Um, so if I'll just quickly pop over to the Eventbrite homepage and show you. Um, they've got, let me just see if I can find it quickly. Uh, we may not, 
I may have to um, update you all later on some of the integration. But take a look at it. It's very, very um, a very good option. You can see that they're all listed here as well, so you, you get some extra exposure. Excellent for in-person or virtual events. So this was a video tutorial for Virtual Assistant TV. Stay tuned for many more of these. Bye-bye.